And good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gazin. We hope you're safe and healthy wherever you are tonight. And I'm Leslie Adamy. We begin tonight with the latest on the city of Corpus Christi's runoff election. So a recap for you. Paulette Guajardo defeated incumbent Mayor Joe McComb and City Council. P Billy Lerdma defeated Rachel Caballero for District 1. And in District 4, Greg Smith, the incumbent there, will hold his spot representing Flower Bluff and the island. And now that all of the players are in place, where does the city of Corpus Christi go from here? Our Michael Aspia takes a deeper look at this top story. In every election, voters cast their ballot with an eye to the future. Where's our city headed and how will we get there? Corpus Christi now has a newly elected mayor and a new look city council, and those are the questions that they will be expected to answer. Not only will the city council have a new leader, but one third of the nine council seats will now be filled by people new to the position and they will help set the tone for the kind of city we will be. Developing a plan that moves what is the eighth most populous city in Texas toward a thriving future is where these leaders will have the chance to make a lasting impression. Some of the immediate challenges are evident. How should we deal with the economic loss brought on by the ongoing pandemic? They'll have to decide the best way forward in helping local businesses and nonprofits recover. Infrastructure will continue to be front and center, and it goes beyond just repairing our crumbling roadways, something the city manager has already taken on. It also includes securing an affordable, drought-proof supply of water for our region. Is desalination the answer? This council will certainly have a say in that, and right now that group carries with it differing views. And what about affordable housing, something vital to our future? According to the Census Bureau, more than 29 million people now live in Texas. That number has swelled as the migration from other states remains steady. Any city with available housing at affordable prices becomes a prime candidate for people who are looking to settle and businesses looking to expand. By the way, being mayor will get you $9,000 a year. The other city council members earn a $6,000 annual salary. And so while none of them are likely in it for the money, they will certainly have a chance to earn every bit of it.